Diagnostics are a very undervalued um, aspect of infectious disease. I mean, we think a ton about drug development and antiviral development and vaccine development, but a lot of the time we don't actually know what patients have. And therefore we really need to put more value and importance into, into diagnostics so we can actually tell the patient what is making them sick. Our recent collaboration has produced a tool that is fast, that's sensitive, that's inexpensive, that can be taken anywhere in the world to diagnose viral diseases. One of the things that the Sebeni Lab is very interested in is tracking outbreaks, diagnosing patients through sequencing, but sequencing isn't always applicable in the field. So we started working with Jonathan and Omar from the Zhang lab. They had developed this really nice method called Sherlock that combines isothermal amplification and Cas13 detection. One of the key limitations for Sherlock is that you typically have to start with a nucleic acid extraction. This takes time and typically involves a lab environment. So in the Sebeti lab, we developed Hudson, a complementary method to Sherlock that allows you to prepare samples without doing any nucleic acid extraction. Uh, and this is great because it allows you to go directly from a bodily fluid, so a blood or saliva or urine, uh, and then go straight to diagnosis. We were able to test uh, clinical samples with this new technology and not only test the fluorescent based readout which requires a machine but also test the visual based readout that's new with this sherlock version too and so now we'd actually be able to look at the strips by eye and just take a picture of them with a cell phone camera in order to give that result back to a patient we were actually able to not only detect uh, Zika virus from clinical samples with that visual readout, but also uh, look at specific viral mutations. It's really great to be able to not only detect that you have a virus, but also to know uh, characteristics about it, like if it has drug resistance or, or other phenotypes, as that could affect how you might want to treat the virus. One of the things that our lab was particularly interested in is can we expand upon this platform to detect multiple viruses. For example, Zika virus often manifests the same way that dengue virus does, and, and these viruses co-circulate in the same region. So it's very important for you to be able to say this patient has Zika versus dengue virus. And so one of the things that we did to do this is create uh, panels that detect not just Zika virus, but other co-circulating viruses. We'd love to develop the technology for a whole wide variety of other viruses and really start deploying it in different parts of the world, not only to study samples from patients that we know are coming in as sick, but also to potentially use for surveillance.